In this video, I'm going to introduce you to circular trigonometry because uh, uh, you, you may have learned uh, trigonometry based on right angle triangle, but uh, uh, that has many limitations, such as it cannot explain why sine 90 is 1, or it can't explain why sine 180, or it cannot explain sine 270, and so on. Uh, so, we'll start with, this is only the introduction of circular uh, trigonometry. I'm going to basically prove three uh, basic trig identities, starting with a triangle, sorry, starting with a circle. Now, this is a circle with radius r. So, this point is r0, this is minus r0, 0 r, and this is uh, 0, negative r, okay. Now, this is the origin, this is O, and this is any arbitrary point P, and this is a right angle triangle. So, let me name this letter by M, okay. So, this is a right angle triangle, okay. Uh, again, we are using right angle triangle here, but later on this r will change to 1, okay, and it will explain, we will move on to unit circle. Okay, let me start. So, by definition, you can say by definition, uh, what do we know? We know, now this is the angle, this is angle theta, okay. So, you know this is the opposite and this is the adjacent. So, instead of opposite, I'm going to write y and in place of adjacent, I'm going to write x and this is your hypotenuse. So, by definition, we know, so let us start with uh, triangular trig. So, tan theta, sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. That's what you learned, opposite over hypotenuse. Now, we're going to say the opposite is y and the hypotenuse is r. Okay. So, sine theta is, sine theta is y over r. If you make y the subject, y is r sine theta. Okay, so, we are going to use this later on. Okay. Now, cos theta is, we learned, we, you should be knowing, it's adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay. And ep, uh, adjacent of this angle theta is x, so that is x over r. Okay. So, now we can write, uh, let me, uh, this implies x is r cos theta. Okay. Okay. And finally, what do we know about tan theta? So, let me write tan theta here so that you can see. So, tan theta is opposite over adjacent. This is by definition. Therefore, we can say tan theta is y over x. So, again y you can write y is equal to x tan theta. So, we are going to use this later on. Okay. Uh, okay. So, what are we going to say now? Using Pythagoras in this triangle, so let me write in triangle, in triangle O M P, O M P using Pythagoras. And this is why Pythagoras is so important using Pythagoras theorem. Can I say x squared plus y squared, x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, okay. So, I can say, okay, x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Okay, now I am going to do one operation for a reason. I am going to divide all by r squared. So, I should say, so, can I write r x squared, if I divide this by r squared, this by r squared, I can also divide this by r squared. So, this becomes x over r the whole squared plus y over r the whole squared is equal to 1. Okay, let us go back. Now, what is x over r? x over r is cos theta and what is y over r? y over r is sin theta. 
So, in place of x over r, I can write cos theta. So, this is cos theta squared plus sin theta squared is equal to 1. Now, this is where you do not use algebra. So, so, you should not be writing cos squared tan squared. This next step is very different from algebra what you have learned. So, this is written as cos squared theta plus sin squared theta is equal to 1. Now, this is you can see the lifeline of trigonometry. I would say this, this is so much used in trigonometry when you learn uh, higher maths. This is one root uh, foundation as in addition, in arithmetic you learn addition. This is, you can see the foundation of trigonometry. Okay, that is cos squared plus sin squared, cos squared theta plus sin squared theta is 1. So, from this you can write two identities which is also, which is, you can make out of this. So, I can write cos squared theta is equal to 1 minus sin squared theta. And if you make sin squared the subject, so, sin squared theta is 1 minus cos squared theta. So, you can prove these results by yourself. There is no great uh, intelligence required. So, let me write this again cos squared, okay, or let me write uh, the formula that is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Now, I am going to divide this by x squared. If I divide this side by x squared, I can divide this side by x squared and this by also x squared. So, this is 1 plus y over x the whole squared is equal to r over x the whole squared. Okay, I did not explain certain other trig identities, but I will explain that later. So, this is y plus what is what is y over x? Let us go back. Y over x is tan x or tan theta. So, I can write this as tan theta the whole squared is equal to. Now, you know x over r is what is x over r? x over r is cos theta. So, the reciprocal of cos is called sec theta or secant theta. Okay, I did not write that but I uh, will write that later. Okay, oh, let me write it here. This implies sec theta is equal to r over x. This is by definition. Sec is the reciprocal of or the inverse of cos. Okay, and this implies the reciprocal of sine is cosec theta, of course secant theta. Cosec theta is r over y. This is also by definition. We need this later on. So, this is by definition. For sec is a reciprocal of sine and sec or secant is a reciprocal of cos. So, I have got r over x and in place of r over x, I can write sec theta okay, or secant theta. So, this is sec theta squared. So, this becomes 1 plus tan squared theta. These are very useful results when you are learning higher maths. When you come to learn calculus and higher mathematics, you need this. Okay, So, this is the second main identity. 1 plus tan squared is sec squared. Now, from this again, you can write two identities. You are making subject. If you make tan squared the subject, so tan squared theta is equal to sec squared theta minus 1. And if you make 1 the subject, you can say sec squared theta minus tan squared theta is equal to 1. Okay. Now, the final item, let me rewrite again x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So, let me take you back. In the first proof, I divided by r squared. In the second, I divided by x squared. Now, what should I divide by? Yes, if you are thinking y squared, you are right. So, I am going to divide all by y squared. So, this by y squared, this side by y, this by y squared and this by y squared. So, this is x over y the whole squared plus 1 is equal to r over y the 
whole square. Now, what is x over y? Again, I didn't tell you that. Okay, let me tell. So this, the reciprocal of tan is cotangent, or it's in short written as cot. Cot is tan is y over x. So cot, so let me write that, not there. I'll write it here. So this implies, this implies cot theta is equal to x over y. See, all these are definitions. Okay, they are not great. They are same. The trig, the, the reciprocal of tan is cot. You have to remember that. Okay, that means if you multiply tan and cot, that again is a very important result. Tan times cot of any angle is 1, sine times cosec is 1, and sorry, cos times sec is 1, and sine times cosec is 1. I'll write that later on. Okay, so here, what can we write? What is x over y? x over y, I just showed you, is cot or cotangent. So this is cot theta squared plus 1 is equal to r over y. What is r over y? Let me take you back. What is r over y? It is cosecant or cosec. Okay, so this is cosec theta, the whole square. So this is written as 1 plus cot squared, 1 plus cot squared theta is equal to cosec squared theta. Okay, so this is again a very important identity. And again, you can write two identities from this. So if you make one the, if you make cot squared the identity, sorry, the subject, you can write cot squared is cos 6 squared theta minus 1. And from this again, you can write, if you make 1 the subject, cos 6 squared minus cot squared is equal to 1. Okay, so let me write a few more identities. I told you sine and coseca reciprocal, so this is a very important result. Sine theta times cosec theta is 1. Cosec, cos and sec are reciprocal, so sine cos into sec theta is also 1. And tan theta times sec cot theta is equal to 1. So, you've got six, basically you've got, okay, and one more thing, finally, let me finish off. Now, tan theta, we saw is, what did we see, tan is, tan is y over x, so this is again a very useful result, tan is y over x, so can I write tan theta is y over r, divided by x over r. So what happens is, uh, dividing by r, uh, so if you um, change this into multiplication, this r will go up and get cancelled. Or if you don't understand this step, let me write this like this. So can I write the same thing like tan theta is y over r divided by x over r. Now, what is y over r? y over r is sine theta. So, tan is nothing but sine theta over cos theta. So, tan theta is y over r is sine theta and x over r is cos theta. And this is the last result, cot theta cot is a reciprocal of tan, and if tan is sine over cos, cot would be cos over sine, so cos theta over sine theta. I'm almost hitting 15 minutes. Hope, hopefully you have understood this. I want you to prove it yourself, all these identities. See you in the next video.